Um, hello everyone, this is Yuan. Today I want to uh, do a little workshop uh, to share some of my uh, thoughts on how to look for a job. And we know that at some point of life that we are all looking for uh, opportunities, no matter it's uh, uh, university offerings or it's just uh, jobs in the uh, industry. So about this presentation, I, I want to focus on several um, things. Uh, the first thing is, this is about uh, how to fish and where to fish. So meaning that uh, where to find, in terms of resources, where to find um, opportunities, uh, and in terms of methods, how to find uh, opportunities. But this presentation is more on the where uh, side of things. And um, I want to do this uh, because uh, in the last two years, I've been uh, occasionally posting some conferences um, uh, onto the IT listserv. Uh, and later we even created a newsletter that kind of uh, summarize all these um, uh, opportunities, uh, job openings, uh, calls for abstracts, all this uh, in a bi-weekly newsletter. And um, this is not just, as I said, this is not just for looking for industry jobs. This also applies for academic setting. And also it's not jobs, it's, it's actually uh, many opportunities such as um, how to find scholarship information, how to find a uh, call for a conference, a uh, call for abstracts, how to find opportunity to submit your abstracts, how to find opportunity to earn opportunity to do a presentation, uh, et cetera. So in this slide, I just want to uh, provide some of the ideas or strategies. The first thing is uh, it is always a good idea to have a great linking profile, even a website. And this is important because most of people when they're applying for jobs, or when they're applying for PhD uh, degrees, they only have um, a CV. Or in some cases, they have a cover letter uh, together with the CV. However, that doesn't really tell um, people your story. And by that, I mean that um, a lot of time when we are trying to be convinced, we are trying to look for a story that uh, some elements in the story that can convince us. So if we are just looking at a CV, it doesn't tell us what we want to be told. In fact, with a CV, we can have a lot of different uh, narratives and it's not the particular narrative that you really want to tell others about yourself. However, if you have a good website, uh, which preferably tells um, like a timeline of yourself, why you decided to do this, what have you done in the past, what is the relationship between your past, uh, your presence, and what you are trying to do in the future, which is applying for this job or applying for this degree. Then if all these pieces, they are linked together and they are told in a good narrative, then people will buy it, people will, uh, understand you as a person who is trying to make the best decision for himself or herself instead of just some bullet points uh, on, on a piece of CV. And uh, the second point I want to make is that uh, you, you need to build connections. So if you know someone right off a meeting, even though you, you have a met them in person, it is always a good practice to uh, connect with them on LinkedIn or Twitter because some people, they, they are very active in Twitter. And then you will notice that this just opens up many different opportunities for you once you start doing that. So uh, follow those people uh, that you know well and not so well on LinkedIn and Twitter. And then from time to time, you will see that um, they, will do, they may post something that you may be interested or you may find out they actually know someone who can help you to land a job. And also it's important that you should also uh, be active in LinkedIn and Twitter. At least you, you, you need to 
tell people about milestones. You don't have to, you know, tweet or uh, post a, a, a article in LinkedIn every week per se, but you can, um, you, you should at least let people know that, for example, if you are finishing up your master's degree, that you are open for a job, uh, that you just completed an internship, or you just get a, a qualification uh, status or anything like that, that you should let people know that uh, you are doing something so that people, you know, people uh, remember you and they will remember you when something that comes down the road that they think it fits you. And also the third advice is to follow those uh, employers because they are the organization that will actually offer you a job. And uh, we talk about LinkedIn and Twitter, but it's not just LinkedIn and Twitter. And uh, increasingly that people are using other social media such as Facebook and Instagram doing things that they are supposed to do on LinkedIn, which means that some people they will even make job posting very personal. They will do it post it on their Facebook, they will post it on Instagram. So my advice is if, if you are going to follow some organizations, those, those uh, employers uh, that are going to give you an offer, don't just follow them on LinkedIn, but try to follow them on whatever social media that you are active uh, so that you have another channel of knowing uh, any opportunities ahead of time. And also the last advice, this, this one is a little bit tricky, but it's very effective, is that if you have no idea, for example, if you are finishing up your PhD degree, if you are finishing up your bachelor degree, you have no idea um, what type of jobs you, 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 are, um, you are good at, you have no idea what you want to do after graduation, uh, start researching about the recent graduate of your program or other programs. Uh, you did there's a feature in LinkedIn that allows you to do that. You can look at um, the class of graduate of the same program last year, and then to see where they uh, ended up going. Uh, and if you know some of them, you can even start a chat to know more about the position, to know more about uh, the nature of the work. And similarly, if you are in a program that uh, you, you just cannot find recent graduates of the same program, you can look at other programs in the same area uh, where did the graduates go, uh, for example. Or you can even look at the um, recent graduates of, of some programs that are um, very similar uh, to yours to get some ideas. And many of my friends, they actually said that this is a very uh, powerful way uh, to know more about the industry, to know more about what kind of uh, skills they really need before getting out of the program. And in terms of how to prepare ourselves for any uh, opportunities, my advice is first of all, uh, search your dream job now. So if you really want a job is, or, or you really want opportunity, it's not uh, until the moment you need it. It's, it's, uh, this is happening like every single second. Is that if you have something you know you want to fight for, you need to search for it now. And second step is you, if you know that this is the job that you want to work for, then print out the job requirements, print out the qualification, the list of qualifications, and check out what you need. Compare yourself to that. Have you have they particularly mentioned a software skill that is required? Have they particularly uh, talk about a coursework that that they want you to uh, have taken before taking the job? Do they require any publications? If so, how many of them? Do they want to see some um, teaching experience uh, from you? So all those. So uh, this is really great because once you know what you are, where you are going, once you know what you are trying to accomplish, 
then it motivates it motivates you every single day. It lets you know that okay, I, I'm missing this, I'm still missing this. So that's why I need to uh, make full use of the resources that 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 are available to me. For example, uh, human resources, uh, the courses that you can take, uh, the industry experience, and some other experiences, and um, you, you also need to do some research about the job because usually the requirements you see they're, they're the minimal requirements they do not represent the average uh, requirement in order for you to know about uh, what, what is the average requirement you do need to do some research about the, the people they are currently in that position um, and last but not least, I listed out some resources that I think are helpful. Uh, Glassdoor, this one helps you to get some insights uh, in terms of qualifications and uh, salary. And then LinkedIn Premium, this one allows you to know who visited your profile. So maybe they are interested in you uh, as they uh, look into your profile. Indeed.com, this is just a listing of uh, jobs and internships. Uh, newsletters, this one I find it very helpful because um, this is like a social media. Once you subscribe to the newsletter of any organization that you may consider working for, that they just post a lot of information that they will not otherwise share with uh, some job hunting websites. And if you are subscribed to this, newsletters you know about a job immediately after it's sent out after it's available and uh, information is the key you know in the modern society a lot of the uh, jobs they are not accessible to some other people that is because they don't have the information if the information is equally available to everyone that probably some people may not get a job so what I'm trying to imply here is that you need to build your network. You need to uh, subscribe to different sources of information so that you are not falling behind in this game. And uh, finally, always use uh, social media as your search engines. So Google is not the only way that you can find information, especially nowadays that social media is becoming more important. So make good use of your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, uh, whatever that you're active and uh, try to see if um, following some of the advice I give out today will make a difference. And gradually you will notice that you, you start to think differently about um, obtaining information, about uh, finding opportunities. So hopefully this uh, workshop does provide some uh, useful guidance and uh, thank you for listening.